Hello, my name is Ardi, and the question is find the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits for the two terminal circuits shown in this figure here. So here we have two sources, a voltage source and a current source like this. And we are asked to find out the Thevenin and the Norton equivalent circuit. So there are two questions. The first one will be the Thevenin. Thevenin equivalent. And we need we need to find out two things, which is the Thevenin voltage here, and then also the Thevenin resistance. And then the second one, we will need to find out the Norton equivalent. Okay, the Norton equivalent. So we need to find out the Norton current, IN, and also the Norton resistance rn okay but fortunately the thevenin resistance and the norton resistance is the same so we will have rth is equal to rn and also we also have another uh, relationship between this one so we can calculate in here as pth divided by r N, like this so we have this like ohm's law like formula here that we can use so we can only find out this Thevenin equivalent and automatically we will have the Norton equivalent circuit okay and how to do that the first thing that we need to do is to find out the Thevenin voltage which is an open circuit voltage open circuit voltage where here we have this one here because this is the terminal right and let's name this terminal here a and this terminal here as b good and this is our vth here okay so in our case here vth is equal to vad okay now what can we do from this circuit here? Let's set this here as our ground. If this is our ground, then Vb here is equal to zero. The voltage here is zero because this is our reference node. And this is the same node as node A here. So I just label this as node A. And then this is 10 volt from the ground. So we will have 10 here. Good. Now, Let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going to the right, this is going down, and this is going up and eventually goes to the left, right? Because it has nowhere to go to the right. Good. And here we can do KCL at node A. Let's do exactly that. KCL at node A. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Good. And the easiest one, here we have this current goes into node A, which is 1 ampere. So I'll have 1 ampere there. And then this current here is also going in, but we have to do some calculation here. We will have 10 minus Pa. 10 is where the current comes from, which is this node, and then minus Va. Va is where the current goes to, because it goes from here to this node here, which is node A. So we'll have 10 minus Va, but here this is a voltage. To get current, we need to divide it by the resistance between them, which is 10. Good. And then that will equal to the only current that goes out is this current here. And where the current came from, it came from Va. Where the current goes to, it goes to re the reference node, which is 0. So I'll have Va minus 0 divided by 5 here. Okay, multiply both sides by 10. And we will have 10 multiplied by 1 here, so we'll have 10. And then this one, 10 and 10 will cancel each other, so we'll have 10 minus Va. Good. And
and then 5 and 10 will cancel into 2, so I will have 2 EA. Good. And now let's eat them. Add them. Let's not eat them. 10 plus 10, that will be 20. And then we will have 3 VA. Good. And now let's calculate VA. VA is just 20 divided by 3. And so we'll have VA is equal to 6.667. And the unit will be in volt. Okay, but remember we are looking for VTH, which is VAB or VA minus VB. But in our case, VB is equal to zero, so we know that that is VA. Therefore, VA is also equal to VTH here, and we will have 6.667 volt. Good. Now we have found the Tevin mean voltage. Okay, let's save this value. And then let's clean up our light here because it is full. Okay, now to calculate Rn, okay, let's do that. We need to calculate Rn or RTH. Rn, which is equal to RTH. We need to turn off the sources, right? Turn off sources. And how to turn off sources if we have voltage source, voltage source, we replace it by short. And then if we have current source, we replace it by open circuit. Good. Now we will have this 10 volt voltage source, so we will have this replaced by short circuit. And then we still have that 10 ohm resistor, like this. This one will be 10 ohm. And then we also have this 5 ohm resistor. So we'll have 5 ohm. And then what else here? We have one ampere current source. We replace it with open circuit. So we will have it like nothing here, like this. And then we have that is terminal A and that is terminal B. Okay, and what is Rn or RTH? It is the resistance seen from this terminal here. This one is Rn or RTH. And in this case, this is just five parallel with 10, right? So we will have our Rn or RTH is equal to 5 parallel with 10. Good. And now let's calculate this. This is 5 multiplied by 10 divided by 5 plus 10. And that will be 50 divided by 15. And maybe let's divide both numerator and denominator by 5. So I will have 10 over 3, right? And that means that we will have 3.333. And the unit here will be in ohm. So we have our RTH and our RN. This is 3.333. Good. Now we just need to find out what is I N. Okay, let's do that, but let's clean up the board first. Okay, now let's calculate our I N. Remember that I N is just V T H divided by R N. So we will have 6.667 volt divided by 3.3. 333 3, 3. and the unit here will be ohm and i think i n is 2 ampere right because this is just 2 good and so we have all the important values we have vth here and rth to calculate the tevenin equivalent circuit and then we also have the norton current and norton resistance the last step that we need to do is just draw the circuit. Okay, draw the circuit. Okay, we will have this one here. This one is Tevenin. 
and the voltage of the tapenin equivalent is 6.667 volt and then here the resistor here is 3.333 and the unit will be in ohm and this is terminal A and this one here is terminal B and this is Tevenin. Okay, how about the Norton? We have a current source and the value of the Norton current is 2 ampere so this one will be 2 ampere. Good. And then we will have this one and that one. Okay, and this is terminal A, and that one will be terminal B, and then here we will have this resistance here, which is 3.333 ohm, and this is the Norton equivalent circuit. And I think we have finished for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.